Hi guys and welcome back to another LucaVision video and I want to welcome each and every one of you beautiful people straight back to my channel and straight back to another Eurovision 2022 reaction video and guys it is heating up in the land of Eurovision that is because as you are well aware we are in rehearsal period we have just had rehearsal one on TikTok and we've got rehearsal two happening all on YouTube and guys in today's video I'm going to be reacting to semi-final one and semi-final two rehearsals two. That's right, all of the second rehearsals for both semi-final in one long video. That is because I'm not really a fan of TikTok. I used to have a TikTok and I kind of deleted it because I wasn't really, it wasn't my scene really. And you can't really see a lot from rehearsal one, can you? So I kind of thought, why not save it and react to rehearsal two on YouTube? So it has taken all of my fibres and all of my beings to not have a little look at any spoiler clips. I have saved all of my first reactions to all of the second rehearsals for this video right here, right now. And guys, the aim of the game is I've got semi-final one and semi-final two all in one video. That way I'm going to be treating this as though it was the final show and every song has got through to the final. That way I can really see which actor surprised me and which one has really pulled some great staging out of the bag and which ones that I might be a little bit scared for. So before we get cracking, I really want to know which of these actors really surprised you and have gone up in your ranks since seeing the staging. And I also want to know which one of these has dropped off of your radar and you're a little bit worried for. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. I can't wait to get stuck into your comments. I'm actually a little bit scared because there are some songs that I have ranked really really highly but I'm a little bit worried to see what the staging is going to produce because as you guys know some of these entrants we've only seen the music video for so we have no idea what the live vocals sound like and we have no idea what potential staging lurks around the corner so it's kind of a make or break situation. So let's not hold off anymore I'm so excited so say it with me now guys enough chat let's react. So guys, even though I said I haven't watched any of these clips, I have had a little look on Twitter at some of the spoilers and it has been said that there is a part of the staging in Italy that isn't quite up to scratch and isn't working. Someone said a black hole or a sun or an archway or something isn't working to the standard. So I'll take that into consideration, don't you worry. Let's get cracking, I can't talk anymore. Let's do this, let's go. Albania. Smashing that vocal as per. Great attitude. Great performance, great lighting, but the colours aren't doing it for me. I don't associate this song with neon pink and neon blue. Mm. Latvia. I love that it is all on him. Don't like this song, but this staging is pretty good. Great camera work, great charisma. Love the vibrant colours in their costume. This kind of relies on camera work, doesn't it? Oh, very vibrant. Oh, here we go, Denmark. Great vocals. Stage seems a little bit empty to me. I enjoy the fact that it is very true to how they've always come across. No, something's missing here for Denmark. I predict non-qualifier. Okay, Lithuania are supplying the glitz and glam. Very simple, very effective. It's nice to see Monica with a lack of makeup. She's a natural beauty. Supplying a great vocal as per. It's nothing we haven't become accustomed to, is it? It's very samey for a Euro fan. Oh, Marius's vocal is exactly the same as our studio version. Oh, that love heart gave me goosebumps. I hope this works in his favour. Simple yet very, very effective. Come on, Slovenia, what have you got? Very similar to what we've seen already. I love this big disco ball in the middle. Great camera work. Showing off the cheeky side of the band. Ukraine, come on, don't let me down. Oh, 
Oh, I love that scream work. I think a song like this is really a big statement, so you can't have a lot of staging to really put off from this statement. Love it. Bit empty. Bulgaria! Supplying? Who would have thought? The song's still quite flat, but that stage in the pyros, the lighting! Pleasantly surprised. Could this be a shock one of my art? I think it could be. Love that! First time hearing the live vocals from this song from the Netherlands, and it is supplying. She delivers. I find it's a bit stagnant. I want her to walk around a bit more. The stage can really swallow her up. Here we go. My biggest climate in my top 40 in Croatia. Again, it's nothing we haven't seen before with this whole kind of contemporary dancing. There's just a bit more of it. So it's nice to see them put a little bit more thought into it. It's showing a narrative through the dancing. I love her pink dress as well. Yes, Austria! Come on, supply that vocal, please! Still, it's a no, isn't it? I do love the pyros, though. Very eye-catching, keeps my interest. Red and black works all the time. Oh! Greece, very dramatic. She is feeling this. Love those lights really projecting into the audience. That is a moment. I predict this song could really steal the show. Dark Horse Alert, Greece, amazing staging. This is a nice change of pace with Portugal. I think you need a song like this to really kind of draw back and really focus your attention and get you thinking. Simple but beautiful. Really complements the track. Iceland, quite low on my list. But for what the for the vibe that the song provides, the staging does complement that. I love the sunset vibe, those orangey yellow golden tones. Great camera work there. Okay, Armenia! Love this, because obviously the music video is completely different. Love that this is a personal little look into her life. It kind of feels like you're intruding as an audience member, but it keeps that interest peaked. Great vocal as well. I love her charisma. Yes, Norway! We've seen this before. Look at the astronaut on the back of this little spacecraft. Love it. This reeks novelty, but it's got great vocals, great charisma, great staging. Yes, from me. Yes. The Rasmus have really improved, especially the lead singer. Definitely improved his vocal from the last time I heard. Love black and yellow. It reminds me of the group from last year. Strong aesthetic. This is very eerie. And like I said before, when it was kind of like a cult kind of feeling, this just emphasises that theory. Oh! Bit, 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 bit is lava. This is just me being hyped for every entry now because I'm so excited. Sideways. I like the staging, but it all seems very, very random. There's no coherent piece of work here, unless that is the point, which makes it very coherent. Very neon, very colourful. It's one of my favourites, but I think it's a non-qualified just based on the staging. That rasp! I thought it was just going to be in the studio version, but Azerbaijan are supplying that vocal. Loving the bleachers that is sat on. The light and shade in his vocal. The camera effects. 
Amazing. Azerbaijan, really impressed. Here he is. He supports the vocal every time. Michael Ben David, legend. Still don't like the flutes, but he makes it work without dancing. They've really upped their game on the dancing front. Sass, energy, enthusiasm, vocals. He has it all. Give it to me now. He is a queen and I love it. See, Moldova's really grown on me and I am a big fan of it now, but this staging is quite lacklustre. It doesn't do the song any justice. I kind of feel like I'm watching a school play when I'm watching this. Great enthusiasm and energy, but the staging's not it. Yes, Malta! A bit disappointed by the live vocal, because I know she's a, a brilliant vocalist. I love that she's in the forefront of the audience, she's really using that runway. It could qualify based on that stage show. Wow! Did not rate San Marino to begin with, but seeing this staging and his personality on stage, the smoke, the aesthetics, he is a vibe. This could be a shot qualifier, you know. Really impressed. Australia. I love his costume, all in white. Owning it. Oh, I love that he's on a staircase. It gives me woman in black vibes, but he's a man in white. Quite the opposite. He always supplies such a sublime vocal and emotion. Oh, Cyprus! She gives me an ethereal mermaid kind of vibe, like a siren song. It's like she's in a big shell. It's quite lackluster for me though. I predict a non-qualification for Cyprus this year. Yes! This is a trashy disco party! Ireland! I'm impressed! The lighting on those drops! Great camera work, love her costume, attitude. There's one of her, but she owns that stage. Love it. One of my faves. Simple yet effective. I love the way that the strobe lighting really does emulate the trap beats. Kind of, kind of like an equaliser, it goes to the, the music. Doesn't leave a massive impression, but I liked it North Macedonia. Come on then. Can't sound too impressed by Estonia so far. Not a lot is going on. Where are the Western guys? Where are the cowboys? Oh, and the crowd go wild. <laughs> oh, I love the camera effects. Like it's the water on the lens. I love this song, but I'm feeling a very lack of uh, energy here. Where's the enthusiasm? I feel like he's not feeling it. Yes! <gasps> Come on, bring it, my guilty pleasure. I own a pair of those trousers, not gonna lie to you. See, this is the energy I was looking for from Poland. Obviously channeled a bit differently. <laughs> Enthusiasm, on point. Beautiful staging, those blue lights. She looks like a peacock with that thing on her back. She's not a peacock. Beautiful. Great vocal. Here we go, Belgium, in my top 10. Feels a bit empty though, and a little bit flat. Again, like Poland, this is lacking energy. I'm going to say it now, non-qualifier. This is in my top 10 and I adore this song. But this staging does nothing for it. Here we are, Sweden. 
Staging we are all used to. It's nothing new, but it's so strong. I don't think they needed to change it up. Great vocal as per. Everything just seems so much bigger. The same costume, but it works. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. She didn't fix it because it ain't broke. Yes! Where are you now? Where are you now? I think this works because this is kind of showing off the whole band. Whoa, those lights! Epileptic warning. Great! Did you hear at the end there? Let's go Europe! Could this be a Moldova Natalia, but for 2022? Let's go Europe! <laughs> Whoa! That was great for what it was. Czech Republic, one of my faves. It's my bronze trophy. The vocals still seem a little bit shaky for my liking, but it is live. There's a lot going on. I like that the staging there really show off the band as opposed to just the singer. So there's not a great deal going on, but that lighting was great. And for an EDM track, you want strobe lighting like that. Incredible. <sighs> So guys, I feel like I've just talked your ear off for about an hour, but I'm going to watch that through again and I'm going to give you my full thoughts in a debrief. The top five to who I'm really impressed with and my bottom five to who's really disappointed me. So let's debrief. So guys, real quick, here are my top five to who has really impressed me just based on the staging alone. Ireland, Latvia, Bulgaria, Switzerland and Armenia, all of which have supplied something a little bit different and a little bit bigger. All of these artists and all of these countries have really upped their game and have brought us something really special on stage. I'm so impressed from the vibrant colourings to the different stage aesthetics. They really have supplied this year. And even though I may not have rated some of them in my top 40, like Latvia, it cannot be denied that they're really coming with a bang and they've brought the energy and they've brought the enthusiasm. And here are the five that have really disappointed me this year. No hate, no shade, because a lot of these songs are in my top, but I think I was expecting something a little bit bigger. And they are Belgium, Albania, Georgia, Denmark, and Austria. Now, whether that comes from the lack of energy and enthusiasm on stage or from the vocals, something about it just didn't click with me. And unfortunately, if they don't up the enthusiasm and up the energy, I really feel like they're gonna be in trouble in their respective semi-final. But guys, that was just my honest opinion on the second rehearsals for semi-final one and semi-final two. I viewed this as if it was an independent show in its own right, and they were my top five and my bottom five based on the staging. Let me know if these match your opinions and if you were disappointed with some of your favourite songs or if some have really shocked and surprised you. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. I can't wait to get stuck into your comments. I am yet to have a little look at rehearsals too for the big five. But until I review them in the next video, I just want to wish you a very, very happy Eurovision season. And I want to thank you so much for keeping up with me this year on this little journey. But if you've enjoyed the rehearsal period, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, that subscribe button and that bell notification button. Then you can stay up to date with the aforementioned video and the other videos I have coming out on this channel and you won't miss a trick. But that is all for me today and all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe, look after yourselves and I will see you in the next one. Take care everybody. Goodbye.